Good morning everybody. I was in bed about 10 minutes ago and I got up because I really needed a wee, as you do. Got back to my bed, was planning on just staying in bed for about half an hour, like I do normally, but then I looked at my phone and realised I had a message from my agent. Now, before Christmas I was told about something that I needed a pencil in my diary and then they were like, okay, so I'll let you know what's happening. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything from my agent. I didn't hear anything from the studio, which I've done before. And so I just thought, oh, so I guess it's not happening anymore. That's absolutely fine. I'll just have a day off. And then this morning I got a message saying, oh, just a reminder that you needed at the studio at quarter past three. And it was like, okay. So I texted back and just said, um, that's my agent, uh, Janet. And I just texted back and just said, oh, um, I never heard anything in regards to costume. Can you just let me know what I need to bring with me? Because I got the day off anyway, and so I can still do it. I just thought, because I hadn't heard anything, that it was just going to be an unexpected proper day off. But yeah, so I just texted her back and just said, oh, um, yeah, I never heard anything from the studios. Um, do you know what I need to bring with me, costume-wise? And then she messaged me back and said, oh, it seems that nobody's heard anything from them, so I'll uh, find out for you. <laughs> So, yeah, after ages of thinking that I wasn't filming today because I hadn't heard anything, I am. Yeah, I've been told I need to go to the studio today. So, not as exciting as last time, when I was, like, really close to the outdoor set, when we were filming just on the outskirts of a very, very posh house, locally. Um, <laughs> to be fair, when you see this, you'll know it's Emmerdale. <laughs> <laughs> which is filmed at Harewood House. Um, but yeah, I, last time I was um, up near Harewood House and today I'm at the studio. So yeah, yeah, I think that was my toast popping up. I think my kettle is just boiled for my cup of tea. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. Normally on my days off, I just let myself sleep because I think I first woke up at about eight-ish, half seven, eight-ish, and my body was just there going, Deb, just go back to sleep. <laughs> So I did. I think I heard the rent leaving for a walk uh, just as I was in the bathroom, to be honest. Let's do that. Will that work? Uh -huh. In here against the coffee machine, which I don't use. <laughs> so like that. that might work a lot of milk for some people. I like a strong tea, but with milk so i leave the tea bag in for ages so yeah yeah i'm not needed till this afternoon um but when i saw that i was just like i've got some things i want to get done this morning and um before i go because i want to get edit at least two videos today so i thought if i get up that'll give me a chance to do that and i lost the top of my toast so i think in the toaster so it just must have come out of the bag like that I am for smooth peanut butter from the foodie market. No palm oil. But I do not, I'm not the biggest fan of chunky peanut butter unless I am making peanut butter cookies. I like it. I like having the chunky peanut butter for peanut butter cookies. Because it just gives it that extra bite. Yeah, I'm gonna try and take you along with me today because I find it quite fun to take you guys and see what I can vlog. <laughs> and then air it and then put this up um, after the episode is aired and then it's a fun little memory for me as well but yeah I did tell the rent like ages ago it was just like oh I think something might be penciled in for that day I don't know what's happening but because I hadn't heard anything I just assumed it wasn't happening anymore so that was a nice surprise to wake up and go oh so I am doing something today <laughs> but yeah so um that's me sorting my breakfast out um whilst I eat my breakfast I am going to watch an episode of Harrow the Australian kind of detective series from yonks ago, um, starring Yoan Griffith. I, can't, I always struggle to say his name. Yoan Griffith, because it's not spelled as it sounds, um, but I, I'm practicing. I'm practicing saying his name. Yoan Griffith, but it's spelled Grufford, but is Welsh. Um, it, yeah, it's a really, really good show. In the second season, I was bawling because the character got killed off, and I was just like, no! Um, but now I'm about halfway through season three, and I can't, I'm... I don't trust anybody. If you've seen season three of Harrow, you'll understand what I'm talking about. I don't trust anybody. Um, so we'll see what happens. I think I'm about to go into episode five, so I, and there's like 10 episodes. So I am literally halfway through, and I am so intrigued to see what happens. Anyway, 
So hopefully next time I see you, I'll be heading off to ITV, if all plans out. Um, yeah, so I've washed my hair. I've done kind of a neutral makeup look, just with browns and a little bit of gold. Actually, no, it was more it was silver, not gold. I always like to put my makeup on before I dry my hair, and then the dryer kind of acts like a setting spray almost. <laughs> That's not really bizarre, but it just helps to set everything. Don't know if anybody else does that. I do, and I, I always mix mask. It just seems to just like put everything into place. Um, so I'm just gonna grab my hair. I still haven't heard anything from the agent, so I have no idea what's happening. Um, because I don't know what I'm doing, that's why I've just gone for kind of the neutral look. Um, I was thinking about putting on eyeliner, but I just thought, because I don't know what I'm doing, I don't want to go back too fancy. Because like, I wear eyeliner for work, <laughs> um, but because I don't know what I'm doing and whether I'm gonna be like moving around much, I don't want to like put on eyeliner and then find out it's all gonna be sweated off and I'm just gonna have to readjust everything. So I might as well just leave it like this for now. And then depending on what I find out I'm doing, I can then decide if I want to pop a highlighter or not. But anyway, dry my hair time and then edit. It is 11.30, so. Okay, so hair's dry, pretty much. I'm really liking the length of my hair at the moment because I've been growing it out for a long time. Occasionally I start thinking, oh, what if I put in like fringe again or something at the edges? I don't know what I want to do. It's just, it's a, a point when it's just very long and straight and I'm trying to figure out how to style it because I can't, I can do a basic plait in my hair, but I don't have the patience to teach myself fancy plaits and braids. Because I don't have the coordination to do stuff like at the back of my head. Like when I plait my hair, I just pull it all to the side and just do that. That's very basic. And there's a girl at work who always has the most incredible braids in her hair. And I'm just like, how do you do that? And it's because she practices and she has the coordination and she's been plaiting her and braiding her hair for a very, very long time. I'm just extremely jealous. Extremely jealous of your clothes. <laughs> but yeah. So this is me literally throwing things together and I need to get my suitcase out from under my bed so I've got stuff so it's like trainers like outdoor activity stuff basically so I've got these green trousers I'll probably put the black ones on and um, I've got like thermals and stuff because it's quite chilly actually no outside. weather app says it's about 10 degrees at the moment but you can still get chilly in that so yeah I think what I'm gonna wear there is gonna be black trousers this blue thermal thing, I think. And maybe the orange hoodie to start off with. We'll see. Um, and then I've got a pink top. I don't think this has got any branding on it. That's what we have. I always have to be careful of. No, there's no branding on the front of that, so I can tell you that. I've got a black thermal, green trousers, shoes. I've got my white trainers and my sketches. I was thinking about taking a... Uh, pink hoodie um but it's got a really, really small head hole and i don't want it to get stuck on my head during filming that one doesn't do i think has that one got any branding on it oh i don't think it does nope so i'll take this one i just basically try and take as much as i can so they've got options it says like outdoor physical activity type thing. And so I think that's what the word is. But yeah, it's a good thing I didn't put any eyeliner on. Outdoor pursuit type clothing, like you've been on an outdoor activity. Uh, the other option would be to take some, some sort of leggings. I'll take some. These are my autumn ones, suckiny things. I think I wore these last time. <laughs> Just take a few options. I always try to take more than I need. It's better to have more than not enough. And then I'll have to pop in a pop on a sports bra. Because if we're doing a sort of stuff outside, I don't want my bra straps to be digging in. So I just need something in more of a neutral colour. I could go blue. I can't take the North Face thing. 
I'd have a black hoodie somewhere, just a plain black hoodie, which I don't think has any visible branding on it. I've got a video that has finished importing. Well, it's finished saving. I next need to import it onto YouTube. Just have anything visible on it. That's the thing about filming, you can't advertise anything on your clothing, so I can't take like my North Face jumper because it says the North Face on it and I cannot be advertising something. So anything with like little, any writing on it, any little logos, anything like that cannot be bought unless it can be hidden. Because um, it's like on the back of my leggings, I've got the dot 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 from Matalan. Um, but yeah, it's like stuff like that can be hidden. Um, but so I can't have any obvious branding, but yeah, so suitcase and I'll watch What episode am I on? Episode 7 of Harrow while I'm doing this So this is how I get into my bed because it's an awesome in bed Ta-da <laughs> That is my suitcase Take out this lock, I don't need it So I've just finished editing video number two, which I'm very happy about. It was weird watching this one back because I read this last year and um, it's a very, very sad book, this one. This video will have been way up by the time you see this video. So the video I've just finished editing um, was The Age of Miracles by Karen Thompson Walker. It's such a sad story, but... It has to be up there as like a book of the year from last year, I think. I think I need to go through that. I go go through all the books I read last year and figure out like what my favourites were. So um, I'll be leaving just over five minutes, probably. <laughs> I can get quite a lot done in five minutes. So I'm going to brush my teeth, get changed and yeah. Suitcase is packed and then I've got a big grey um, backpack, which has got another backpack inside it um, so that I can like keep stuff separate if I need to so this is saving hopefully I'll get the chance to upload it before I leave because if this um saves really quickly I could pop it on YouTube and just leave it open while I'm out yeah so um teeth brushing time and get changed okay ready to go don't forget that Debs don't forget. just drive where I park and it is five to three and I need to be there for quarter past. So it's lovely timing. I always like to get there early. Because they always say, if you're on time, you're late. So, just need to get my stuff out of the back. I grabbed a hat. I've got two coats with me. I've got some powder and some top-up lippy. In case. All right, don't forget that. This is the pop socket for my phone because it's a um, silicon case. So, traditional pop sockets don't work on it. So, this fits nicely around my phone case. But yeah, so... I'm just around the corner, so I should be there in plenty of time. Happy. all done and as you can see it's dark <laughs> trying to remember which way I'm going <laughs> it's always fun meeting people so I've mainly been with uh, Francesca and Nadine today and uh, me and Francesca were sat at the back of the set and one of the first things they said for us to do was to take selfies but yes so we got to take selfies again to the back of the set so um, I'll insert the pictures um, of that I took because <laughs> um, Francesca didn't have her phone on set whereas me I just keep it on airplane mode if you know what that noise is it's my um, suitcase with all my costumes in so I must admit as soon as I arrived uh, costume looks at me before I'd even got into the lineup for them to like check out costumes he just looked at me and went 
like, yeah, she fits the bill. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then he looked me up, uh, up and down again um, just to check before they put us on to set and said, what you're wearing is absolutely perfect. So all that pulling stuff out of my wardrobe. But yeah, he first looks at me when we walked through the doors and said, that looks perfect. And then he had another look at me just before he grabbed me and Francesca to put something to set and said, what you're wearing is absolutely perfect, no need to change anything. So yeah, full suitcase. And he just took one look at me and went, no, that's absolutely perfect what you've chosen. So it always happens like that though. You put in a million things, they look at you and go, yep, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, nearly back at my car. So I need to get the keys out of my bag. But yeah, another day at Emmerdale. If I get the footage, I have actually been told when this episode is airing. I've been told what episode it is and the date that it should be airing. So I've got that saved on my phone. So yeah, I, I never put, know when stuff is airing. Um, but basically the woman looking after us today was saying things like, oh, well, I had to find out for somebody else. So we actually know today. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'll include the footage from the episode at the end of this. So, I'm perfect timing. I'm back at my car. See ya. Hello. So I'm back home. Made a wrong turn, as you do. Driving home and ended up somewhere that I didn't really recognise. And then eventually I figured out where I was. And it's like, oh, isn't that where some friends of ours live? So I think I was where I was, roughly. Just taking my socks off. But yeah, they've gone paperless up there. So um, it was handy actually because somebody signed in the wrong box on the iPad and they were able just to highlight it and move it right next to the right person. That was pretty clever. And then as I was leaving, because when we arrive, um, you get like a little fob thing so you can get through the doors. And as when you're leaving, you use the fob to get out of the gate and then you hand it back to reception. As I was handing the fob back to reception, Lisa Riley from Emmerdale was sat in reception and she looked up at me and went, hi. And I went, hi, bye. And she said, bye. And then I left. <laughs> but yeah, she was really sweet. She was just saying hi to a random person. So yeah. <laughs> but yes, that's all me done. Video that I uploaded before I left has all gone through, which is good because we're on the 9th of January as I film this and this one goes up, that one goes up on the 25th I'm trying to be at least a month basically I'm trying to edit two videos a week to make sure that I'm all up to date mainly because I'm now doing two videos a week <laughs> so I'd like to make sure I'm well ahead of myself and organised but yes, yeah, so I'll just put some food in the oven I'll put some chicken and fries in and we're about to watch Happy Valley episode 2 of the new season, so I love Sarah Lancashire so much. I actually did, I did some background work on Happy Valley season two, because this is season three. Um, but yeah, I did some background work on Happy Valley in season two, and it was really good fun. And I got to meet Sarah Lancashire, and as a hero of mine, I absolutely love her. I really look up to her. She was so lovely, she was so nice, and it's so nice when you meet someone like that and they are nice and they are lovely it's just yeah anyway thank you for watching <laughs> my video even though there probably wasn't that much but i'd like to take you behind the scenes anyway if i can show you anything yeah um we were encouraged to take um selfies on the set so i got some pictures which was fun I'll just take this hoodie and my thermals off, put on just a normal top, and go downstairs and join the family. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Mm. Love you. Thanks for coming. What have you been up to? Just being busy. Doing what? The LGBT plus stuff at Village Hall. You can come if you want. Coffee? I can't really. What? Because he's your dad? 
I'm sorry I burnt you at school. He didn't want to see you. He didn't have to know, though. And I'm sorry I said being gay is disgusting. I didn't mean it. I was trying to say that I wasn't keen on you. You know, like that. But it, it came out wrong. That's not a law against us hanging out, though, is it? There's mates. Yeah. No. Sorry, we can't. But you obviously want to just to... can't, okay? Oh, sweeter. 